Vitamin D is an essential nutrient and it plays a key role within the immune function. In fact, vitamin D is considered protective of a whole array of health issues. Now, its exact role within the immune function is complex, but in brief, every single immune cell requires vitamin D for those cells to then be activated. And it's only upon activation that immune cells display their antibacterial and antiviral effects. Research has shown that three out of five UK adults have suboptimal levels of vitamin D. So that, combined with the huge demand from the immune function, may explain why low levels of vitamin D are often associated with long-standing health conditions. The main source of vitamin D is from sun exposure. As the sun's UV rays hit the skin, that triggers a cascade of events which produces the active form of vitamin D. However, increasing time spent indoors, the wearing of long clothing that covers the whole of the arms and the whole of the legs, plus the use of sunscreen can hamper the body's ability to produce adequate amounts of vitamin D. Now, vitamin D can be found in food, and good sources are oily fish such as trout and sardines, besides dairy and eggs and mushrooms. And mushrooms, a little bit like humans, will absorb UV rays from the sunshine and produce more vitamin D within the plant. But getting adequate amounts of vitamin D from the diet can be quite difficult. And this is where food supplements potentially can provide a solution. Most food supplements provide a minimum of 400 international units of vitamin D and that's in accordance with Public Health England recommendations. However, for individuals that are close to vitamin D deficiency, they may need larger amounts of vitamin D such as 2000 international units. When considering supplementation with vitamin D3, it can be difficult to know which strength of vitamin D is necessary. Most food supplements start at 400 international units and can contain up to 2000 international units. Public Health England recommends that everybody in the UK during the winter months requires 400 international units of vitamin D3 daily. And public health guidance during the COVID-19 infection is to continue with vitamin D3 supplementation at a strength of 400 international units. For those who suffer with frequent infections or potentially are managing a long-term health condition or have maybe been and had a blood test to have their vitamin D level tested and the interpretation of the results has come back at less than 25 nanograms per milliliter, then that is considered low. And those individuals should consult their healthcare professional and may require larger doses of vitamin D3 from food supplements. A recent discovery has changed everything when it comes to food supplements in terms of the source of vitamin D3, because that discovery found that vitamin D3 is present in lichen, and that has brought about the availability of a vegan D3. Now, prior to this finding, any food supplements would have contained a D3 that was anim animal derived, uh, most often derived from sheep's lanolin. In terms of an organic vitamin D, vitamin D2 can be sourced from organic mushrooms and therefore provides a high quality organic vitamin D2. Now that does beg the question, is it vitamin D3 or is it vitamin D2? Well, in fact, both are highly absorbable and well utilized nutrients. However, vitamin D2 is required to go through an extra stage of transformation within the body before it becomes vitamin D is the active form.